Hey, we're live. We are continuing our study on fasting. And if you were with us Wednesday night, we talked a little bit about fasting and this week's devotions have been about fasting and how do you fast and what are things you fast from? And um, fast is giving up something that you love or something that you love more. And we're kind of uh, really focusing in on your spiritual life, giving up something that is a major distraction or it takes up a lot of your time in your life so that you can clearly hear God speaking to you and um, he speaks to you in different ways. He might nudge you in your heart. He might show you something um, through a song, uh, through a billboard. He speaks in all different ways, but we have to kind of be clear of the clutter in our lives to hear that. And so I'm going to be talking to you today um, about the first time that people were commissioned, and that means kind of uh, sent out on a special journey to uh, do God's work. And this was Paul and Barnabas that um, they sent on a commission. But I want to I want to take you through Acts 13, one through three, so that you can kind of see how that happened um, in this setting. So if you've got your Bible, follow along with me. It says in the church of Antioch there were prophets and teachers. Barnabas, Simeon, called Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, Manian, who had brought up with Herod the Tetrarch, and Saul. While they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. So after they had prayed and fasted, they placed their hands on them and sent them off. They heard this word from the Lord because they were worshiping and fasting in that moment. So they were um, clearing out the clutter in their lives so they could hear clearly what the Lord was speaking to them. And they said, send off Barnabas and Saul for this work I'm calling them to do. So they heard that calling. And then the second thing they did um, was uh, said after they fasted and prayed, then they placed their hands upon them and um, and sent them off. Oftentimes when someone is getting ready to go do the Lord's work, um, people will gather around like a missionary team. Before um, the real life team went to China, the youth gathered around them, laid their hands upon them and prayed for them, prayed for their safety and their journey and God's work. Um, that they did. Uh, that's kind of how you commission a team. It's kind of like, we're here, we're praying for you, we're supporting you, um, that you're called to go do something. Um, and we're not all called to do the same thing. That's what I love. Look at all these people that were um, getting together to worship and pray. They were all different people. They weren't the same people and they were all gathered around for the same purpose. And that's to pray and worship and, and seek out the Lord's wisdom. So you may be called to different things. Um, but we want to support each other and what we're called in. But first of all, to know what you're called in and what your purpose is, what do you need to fast from? What do you need to get out of your life that's consuming the time in your life so that you can hear what God is calling you for, what your purpose is? For me, I went into college and thought I was going to uh, work with children um, that were hurting. And through that time in college and through prayer and worshiping and fasting and all of that stuff, Darren, God spoke to me and, and called me to work with teenagers. And um, I did that for so many years of my life and I'm still doing that. I love to be with you guys every week. And um, that was what God called me to do. There were times he called me to go to Guatemala. There's times he called me to Costa Rica or Mexico. Sometimes he called me right here to do something specific, but I had to be able to hear that calling in my life. So my prayer for you is that you um, clear out some things that are taking a lot of time in your life just so you can get still and pray and fast and read the word and see what God is calling for you to do today. It could be something little, it could be something huge, but to hear that, you got to get still. And so my prayer is that you can get still and find that. So let me pray over you guys. God, I thank you so much for um, these students that are present in this devotional this morning, um, the lives that they're going to touch, the work that they're going to see. And God, I hope for the first time they hear your voice in a real way as they clear out things in their life that are taking up space. God, I pray so much that you just be present in our lives. Show us our purpose. Show us what our calling is and that we're obedient to that. We love you so much, Lord. Thank you for today. All this we give in your name. Amen. 
go change the world, you guys.